Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for January 22nd, 2020. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, a total of 15 players with Mustika taking the top score with a 694. Plain and simple, Mustika just really is very good at that whole dealing with the sentry business. I scored a 685, followed by Marvin with 674. Missed one of the scrap, apparently, probably the one in the slime room. Quietus 1-1 one, one, scored a 660. Smith 640, along with Ruben. ITJ a 620 with Spelunker. Dargard a 610. Dano a 600. And LB ended up in 12th with 525. Overall, just a bad, unfriendly day yesterday. Six from the friends list in the top 12. Five from the top 10. And just not a very cooperative ship all things considered. I've got a sore on my tongue right now, so if it sounds like, if I sound a little bit different, that's why. Today we have pretty damn good drone health, sensor, and nothing else to work with. Four infestations on the salvage, A. Let's go ahead and get started. I should have put, all right, well, that's not really where I wanted to go. I did see a drone, though. Oh, that's not good. Well, of course, there's no defense found. There's no other rooms. Well, that sucks. Anything else might be in here that's useful? Excuse me, by the way, I... Alright, that's unpleasant, but okay. I hear swarm somewhere over the rainbow where the skies are blue. All right, when did I open that door? D12, 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm actually coming up on Holy shit. That's not what I expected to see on a salvage. Now I gotta figure out what I've got. Speed boost and tow, okay, not useful. Stun and pry, okay, maybe useful. All right, that's good news. That's medium news. Defenses would be really helpful right now. Not my best move necessarily, but it's a move. What else do I have? Speed boost? Well, that's a good quality speed boost at least. I'll take the stun too. When did I open? Okay, 235, so that'll be verified. Wait, 235? So that'll be verified relatively soon. There's no swarm in there. Alright, so that's good news and bad news. That gives me access to most of the ship. Hmm. 
could be a sentry in there. Hopefully, R4 has another. Uh... When did I open D22? All right. So, right around four minutes, 30 seconds. All right, there is, ooh, very nice. All right, so that's the good news. R8 killed one enemy. Okay, let's open up D7. Let's close D7. Let's, yeah, I'm being silly. Very nice. Doubly so because there's an adjacent room. I don't know what that I want to mess with it though. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> that's bad on a number of levels. It's too late. It's going to spread. I can't stop it. Seven D nineteen. That's all I can do. I want to at least peek. There's probably nothing in there, but just in case, I want to peek. All right. So this is bad news. Seven minutes, unknown rooms. Seven, D twenty, just in case, D ten. All right, so I don't know when that spawned, and slightly worse, that is my only way further onto the ship. I was not prepared for a radiation breach in any room, except for maybe R4, which would have been the worst, so there is that. 
<sighs> I would wager... It's eight minutes in, that's not a lot of slime. That feels like a rogue spawn in R7. And it was a size 10 swarm. I'm gonna be waiting, I don't have to wait. Okay, so... I'm kind of screwed. It's possible D8 has a generator. Possible. Not guaranteed, not necessarily even likely. Slime in R5, okay. That's definitely a rogue spawn. Ah. See, I think I'm stuck waiting for the next swarm to spawn, because that was only a half-sized swarm, which means there will be more. There it goes. Okay. Also, that means that room is definitely safe for the time being. That's good. If the swarm... There it goes. Defenses are deactivated. There's the fuel. Alright, so the good news is... Well, no, there's no good news. I'm stuck. Unfortunately, that is the end of the run. I was right in what I did, though. If I'd went into R2, I would have just been stuck. I would have been screwed. Well, that's not entirely true. If I'd gone into R2, I could have closed D23 and D24. I still would have taken damage, but then I could have at least got into R5 for a little bit. Until that was completely screwed. All right, well, it is what it is. Couldn't explore the whole ship, unfortunately. Speed boost isn't gonna help. Stun isn't gonna help. R9 just doesn't have the generator that I need. Exploring the whole ship would be extremely difficult with R5 being really, yeah, I think this is pretty much as far as most people are going to get. LB might get further, um, but definitely a lot of unsafe options here. Total of 985, no damage taken, 11 scrap, 2, maybe 3 of that was from a sentry, 1 propulsion fuel, starting score of 590, and 2 drones, each with 2 upgrades, fantastic haul, even missing a quarter of the ship. And of course, Smith, LB, each got an extra scrap, Mustika, it was 2 from the sentry, Mustika scored some radiation damage. Dano scored 985 along with myself, and Pievri a 760, and Ruben a 753. If you haven't done your run yet, good luck. 
there are some things that can go wrong in this ship. And that radiation definitely was one of them for me. I had way too many doors open, should not have had those doors open, and just was not prepared when the time came. Fortunately, nothing terrible came of it, just meant that I couldn't finish the ship, and the slime did that well enough on its own anyway. If you would like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Deno416, LB, Mustika21, and Darguard, all listed in the video description. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.